what is up guys this is praises here today and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get a smooth clean cut finalized image for whatever project you're working on on Photoshop and I'll be showing you like all like the tips and how I do it to make things look smooth like these uh, wallpapers that I have right here these are all available for you on my Twitter uh, they're all free and you are more than welcome to download them and use them but uh, let's get right into this all right, so what you're going to want to do is go online and search topazlabs.com forward slash clean. Uh, what this will do is uh, this is a basically a plugin for Photoshop. And what this does is it smoothens and it controls the surface texture of all of your images. Uh, there's multiple ways you can get this. There's also you can go online and download it like a free trial of it. But make sure you look it up. Uh, you can also get it for free. Just through the trial but um, so try that out um, and after you have that you can go on to Photoshop like so this is just a stock image that I have and I've been using for certain things but it's a uh, cave cavern wall thing so what this does is it basically just controls like obviously like what I just said was the surface texture so as you can see as, as I zoom into this image you can see a little bit of noise and that's just what happens when you take a photograph through a lens. What happens is there's like the photons that go through the camera lens are their particles obviously and what they do is it kind of like it makes kind of like that static that goes along with it so to get rid of that and to make your image look a little bit smoother what you do is you duplicate the background image go up to filter after you've downloaded and installed the Topaz Labs and then Topaz Clean 3 and so now you can choose a bunch of these options but I like what I like to do is go to cartoon detailed click on that and as you can see it already smoothens it out but that's a little bit too strong for me so I like to bring it about to about one and potentially two so what that will do is it just smoothens out the entire image and it's very clean very uh, it's less noise is what it's basically canceling out while uh, keeping the the more or less like important details in touch as you can see here so it's getting rid of all that noise and it. it's basically it's like a blending mode but and you can merge down and also what I like to do is then add a go to, after I duplicate that image filter sharpen and then sharpen and so what this will do is it will bring back that uh, more like the edges that were kind of blurred away using this method I've been able to make really cool things such as like these these wallpapers and but uh, hopefully this has helped you guys. Uh, I really appreciate all the support you've been giving me and all that blah blah blah. But anyways, have a great night. And leave a like and subscribe if you're new. So have a great day, guys.